let me stop you just for a minute and let you know that I'm recording, and this is going to be broadcast to, on YouTube. We'll be uploaded and probably broadcast to UCY.TV. So if everybody's okay with being uh, public here, I'd like to ask you to uh, state your name and, and who you are and what you're doing here. I'm uh, Colonel Hunt. I'm the uh, California State Militia Commander. Um, I'm actually a new appointed state commander. Um, I came down here because I, re I heard about a problem down here. I started investigating it, and uh, an associate of mine started investigating and we didn't like what we saw. And so I put out an alert in California. I uh, am part of the Spanish party. I've got uh, two Oath Keeper units showing up, as well as two Mushi units showing up, uh, all within the next couple of days. My nurse will be here on Sunday. Let me interrupt you one second. I, this is the man I first interviewed. We went out uh, live on air with uh, Anti Tyranny News. And uh, tell, tell us again who you are. Uh, I'm Shane Harger, the former chief of police there in, in Hamas Springs, New Mexico. I'm with the Constitutional Sheriff's and Peace Officer Association. The Constitutional Sheriff's and Peace Officer Association is comprised of elected sheriffs. Um, just like you've got the sheriff here in this county who's not doing his job, is derelicting his duties, mm -hmm. unlike that sheriff, uh, our sheriffs that are members of our organization have not only sworn an oath, but sworn to uphold that oath at all costs. And so it's you know law enforcement officers from all over the country that are members of the CSPOA. And uh, you can get, to find out more, you go to CSPOA.org. And you can become a member. You do not have to be a law enforcement officer. We encourage citizens and militia members alike to join us. Uh, and, and what we're doing is we're going out and reaffirming uh, the fact that the sheriff, being the chief law enforcement official in the county, has the ability to stand in the gap for the citizens. Like in this situation, the sheriff of this county should have been here, standing in the gap on behalf of the Bundys, and at a minimum, on the very minimum scale, should have been standing in the gap for the protesters. If the sheriff truly believes that the BLM is in the right on what they're doing, he should still be here supporting and defending the people's right to protest and have free speech. You don't see that. I just left a protest at his office earlier today. We were imploring him to, to step up to the plate and do his job. Uh, at this point, he's yet to, to come out and speak with any of us. And so I'm here on behalf of the CSPOA uh, so that we have boots on the ground. We have multiple people coming in, and these are law enforcement officers. So you know, these are people that are, have taken an oath and are still uh, you know, currently in service. And they're, they're coming here to, to reaffirm their oath and say, hey, we're not going to take this. You're not going to violate the First Amendment. You're going to set up a, a, a free speech zone where you got to be in a cattle guard to have free speech, we're not going to take it. And so Sheriff Mack will be here uh, at 12 o'clock tomorrow, and we intend to to be very vocal in front of the media and the militia and the, the citizens that are here, the protesters, to make our point well known that we're here in support of the money. We're, hope, we're hoping to have a peaceful resolution. Our intent, our mission, specifically as the CSPOA, uh, in conjunction with the Bundys, is to get enough people together that we can walk in and reclaim that which was taken. That's our goal. Perfect. All right. Um, question. Yes, sir. Um, are you familiar with the uh, public service question? No, sir. Okay. I just recently, um, through my school, became aware of what's called the public service question. You serve the public servant a young, a young, young get on the video. that demands Maybe that you have to hold your load the box. Thanks. That's oh. the bond. Okay. You're on video if you walk by here. Every law enforcement officer, every police officer has to have a bond, whether it's a blanket bond or across the street. I got a situation. Just one okay. Just one okay. I don't need to be All right. Hey, let me, let me stop the video so this is not recorded. Okay, thanks uh, Thanks for listening, and there will be more to come. Uh, let's move over here just a little bit, and we'll, we'll continue with you. I'm going to stop and restart, and uh, that way uh, we're not over time consumed. Okay, be right back. Uh, Follow-up video.